Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at how to upgrade TrueNAS from its current version to the latest available version. So we're just going to get straight into it uh, here. So this is the main dashboard that you see whenever you log into the control panel for TrueNAS. Uh, you can see over here that I'm running version 12.0 uh, update 4. And today we can see that there's an update available. So we're going to go ahead and update to the latest version. Uh, we can click here on updates available and then we'll automatically refresh, but if that doesn't refresh automatically, you've got the option over here to refresh. Um, and then we can download updates, apply the pending update or install a manual update file. So we're we're actually going to apply the pending uh, update. Now, something that gets prompted here is, do you wanna save your configuration settings from the machine before updating? This is a really great step because if there's something wrong with the installation or wrong with the uh, future version and you're not able to get it to boot, then your configuration will allow allow you to start a fresh install with all of your settings intact. So I already have a backup of my uh, configuration file. I'm not going to save that here, but when you're doing this upgrade, you should you should take a backup of your configuration file. Uh, you have the option here as well to include a password secret seed. And uh, this is pretty important if you've got any encrypted volumes, you need to keep a copy of your encrypted seed. Now, the key here is if you do take that copy, you need to make sure that you keep it in a very, very safe location because otherwise anyone who gets their hands on that will be able to, uh, well, they've got the encryption keys for your, um, your uh, uh, hard drives. <clears throat> so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on no here, but you should definitely do this if you um, have the option. So it's prompting me here to say that uh, the system's going to reboot whenever I apply the pending updates. I'm okay with that. I'll hit confirm, hit continue, and then it'll give me the option that it'll start the, the job. So that's just going to take a couple of minutes to apply. And then what we're going to see is the machine is going to reboot. With the magic of video editing, we are just brought straight back to the restarting screen. So that means that the machine has applied the update, it has uh, rebooted. So we're just gonna wait for it to come back up again and we'll see what version we're on then. And once again, with the power of editing, we can see that we are back in. Now that the machine has restarted, we can check here and we can see that we are upgraded to 12.0 uh, update 4.1. And then if we hit check for updates, we can see that there are going to be no updates available. If you just do a little automatic refresh there, we can see that we're completely up to date. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's how you would upgrade your current installation of TrueNAS to the most recent available version. Uh, leave any comments, questions uh, below. And uh, if you can do the YouTube dance and comment, subscribe, like, that would really help the channel out itself. Otherwise, I will catch you on the flip side.